being on time, 7.30, on the dot, on the dot, I want ice cream, hold on. I need like food that has sustenance, and I thought I had pizza rolls, so I was gonna eat pizza rolls. Oh, this is like a little bit more sustenance. I was gonna eat pizza rolls, but then I went to make them, and I didn't fucking have them. Like, I don't know at what point I thought I had pizza rolls, when I definitely did not. So I'm hungry, and I have no groceries. But I just found these frozen chocolate bananas, and this is like real food, you know? It's a banana, it has like some nutrients in it. So, that's good. Hey besties, ZK Butterworth, hi. That's just peachy, hi. How are we living, how are we loving, how are we laughing, how are we doing? Mm. I'm gonna get rid of this fucking shit. There we go. There we go. Hi, hi, hi. Here, let me copy the, the thing. There we go. Okay. There we go. There's the Nearpod information if you want to join. Hi. You just ate your lasagna? Fuck. I would love a lasagna right now. Hey, besties. Oh, damn it. I have chocolate all over me. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. We are hella on time today. Like... I'm on time as fuck. You guys, my hair girl is texting me and calling me. She's insane. Fully. I don't know how I found her. I truly have a knack for this. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, let me catch up with the chat. Had to miss last week, but I'm here. Hi. Roll call. Everyone please report for duty. Please and thank you. Oh shit, my phone's about to die. That sucks. I'm a little bit of a mess today. If we're being frank, I'm a little bit of a mess. Your hair? I always feel so awkward when people in my comments are like, oh my god, tell us the hair hack. Like, how do you get your hair like that? Because I literally do nothing. And I know that that's so annoying. Because I feel that way about people's skin. When people have really nice skin and they're like, oh, I do nothing. Just use soap. I get so fucking mad. So I feel that way about my hair. When they're like, how is it healthy? How is it long? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I love milk. I hope this doesn't ruin anything for me. So we're actually going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about like health and the industry and how it's gross and the milk is bad for you we're just going to talk about like history and money and laws because like i love milk too and i'm not trying to watch like gross cow videos you know what i mean oh my god right when i said that the view dropped like literally so much that's hilarious um first time on stream welcome how are you in boss babe news i did some good networking today i want to hear about your networking Who'd you, who'd you work on the net? Milk is yucky. This is not a milk safe space. <laughs> Understandable. The vegans dip. The vegans were like, bye, goodbye, goodbye. Cause like I be, I be eating dairy products. You know what I mean? On the reg. Oh, sorry. I'm inviting Instagram. Okay. So let's get into this. I'm done being on my phone. I'm tired of it. I'm over it. I posted it on the social medias. It's done. Okay. <clears throat> let's focus. Did a teacher training with my country's farm bureau over the summer and toured several dairy and beef farms. It was wild. I don't think I want to tour that. I enjoy being extremely disconnected from my food source. That's something that I would really like to maintain. You know what I mean? I love not knowing things like I love it I love not knowing things but anyway let's get into it what are we learning about today we're learning about milk the TLDR is that the government subsidizes milk and pays for its advertisement even though it's really bad for us I agree milk is fine as an ingredient but not to drink you could not have described it better milk is an ingredient milk is not a beverage milk is an ingredient for mac and cheese, for coffee, for, I don't fucking know, other things. 
Like milk is an ingredient. Milk is not something you drink as like a yum, I'm thirsty. Like, you know what you can drink? You can drink water. Look, my coworker gave me this water bottle, which was so, so nice of him. Look, it has a handle and it has a straw. And then look at the sticker I put on it. You can't really see because of the ring light. Hold on. Oh, now you can't. Now you really can't see. Damn it. It says, yeah, I cry sometimes. What about it? Water is a beverage. Dr. Pepper is a beverage. Milk is not a beverage. You don't drink that. That's not what you do. Hydrate. Hold on, I'm eating. I will. Replace all milk with Dr. Pepper. I fucking love Dr. Pepper. It's so good. It's like, to me, why would you drink another soda when Dr. Pepper's literally right there? If Dr. Pepper is not there, I'll drink Sprite. I'm hydrating. My posture is checked. Thank you. I kind of feel like a robot when you guys do that. Lauren McKinley, thanks for subscribing with Prime. Okay. Remember when they were putting milk in Pepsi? No. What? Oh, your university hall doesn't have Dr. Pepper? That's terrible. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let me actually scoot y'all on over a little bit and change my screen up. Booty cap subscribe with Prime. Thank you so much. Also, if you're new here, I think we have a lot of new friends here tonight. Let me get a shout out from my new friends. Welcome. If this is your first stream, I am so fucking happy you're here. I'm obsessed with this topic. And next week, we're doing corn. So like how our government also has a corn fetish and like also is obsessed with corn. So if you're new here, thanks for being here. And if you're new to Twitch, I don't really know how this works, but if you log in with your Amazon Prime, you can um, subscribe for free. If you just like wanna throw some coin my, my way, would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. That was my sales pitch. I'm trying to be more in my bag because Joe Biden's inflation is hitting with two T's. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but let's go ahead and get into our topic. So this is kind of like, can you fucking load please? Thank you. So I want everyone to drop your milk preferences, either in the chat or if you have like a specific brand and you want to show us, you can put it on my screen. I also want to say like the fact that I let you all put things on my screen without like checking them or approving them, like I feel like that really shows that I trust you all. 2%, Shamrock Farm, Silk Almond, Oat, Vitamin D. Why can't I read? Silk, Coconut, Unsweetened, Polar Oat, Lactose Free, Milk is Gross, Chocolate, Oat Milk. So I don't drink milk because again, I will reiterate this, milk is not a beverage. Milk is not a beverage. Milk is not a beverage, but at Starbucks, it I get 2% in my coffee. If I am hungry as fuck, I'll get whole milk, which is like kind of too much, but if I'm hungry as fuck, it does a trick. Um, and I put 2% in cereal, and then when I make coffee at home, I use a French vanilla creamer, but somehow it's dairy-free. Like it's so chemical and like processed that it's dairy-free, even though they make it with milk. You know what I mean? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? How like the creamer is dairy free? Like it says dairy free on it. I don't, I don't know how that's possible. I don't know how it's milk in there. Milk is only okay if it's in something. I can't taste it. Okay, valid. That's facts. <clears throat> cows had, we had cows, so university branded dairy products. You had university branded dairy products? That's truly insane. I cannot imagine having university branded dairy products. Uh, everyone left. I think there's an ad. Sorry, there's an ad. I'll wait for you to come back for the ad. Thanks for being here. Sorry that ads happen. It's like pretty sucky. Um, Chobani dairy creamer. That Chobani has a dairy creamer? I thought they only had like oat milk creamer. My boyfriend likes the Chobani oat milk. He's loyal to that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is frosting dairy-free? Oh, I would love frosting right now. When I was a kid, I used to eat frosting out of the tub, and my parents really would get angry at me. And looking back, like, I get it. Like, you had bought that for a purpose. But in the moment, I was like, why do you give a fuck? Like, I literally like it, so I don't see what the fucking problem is. Um, my college roommate works for a dairy trading company now. Wish she was here for input. I, 
I also wish she was here. If you had to watch an ad, I'm so fucking sorry. I hate ads. Ha! Terrible. A girl, also Twitch asked me if I wanted to do three minute ads and I was like, that's a movie. That's literally a movie. I could watch like probably four TikToks in that time because most people don't even do the full 60 seconds. I was like, that is a literal feature film. So no, we will not be doing three minute ads. I was shocked to discover Oreos being dairy free, right? Like how is all this shit dairy free? How? Do I, I don't, do we want to know? Yeah, no, I will never do three minute ads over my dead body. Oh, oh my God, I have my new emotes. If you haven't been here in a while, I have emotes. Also, thanks for telling me to stretch. I really need to do that. Um, it's the corn syrup. Jesus, this feels so good. I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing. I'm like holding this chair and just like dead weighting my body forward. Oh, that felt fucking good. I love stretching. It's like probably one of my number one favorite activities. But yeah, I have emotes now. If you haven't been here in a while, there's a lot of new emotes. Okay, so let's continue on to the milk <clears throat> situation. So this is like the opposite of a trigger warning, I guess, because I know food is a sensitive topic for a lot of people, but we're gonna be talking about policy, not like diet and personal choice and health, just because I know that that's like not something a lot of people want to spend their free time talking about, and that's not something I do either. Um, so I drink milk products, I eat cheese all the time, and the purpose of this is not for me to be like, I'm gonna convince you when it is. Like, I just like to talk shit about the government. Like we are here to talk shit about the government that's our purpose here that's what we were put here to do like we're here to talk shit on the government and that's just what it's about this is a safe space you know what i mean not safe space for people who drink milk as a beverage though like if you're sitting down with a glass of milk like if you would fill this with milk and be like yum this isn't a safe space for you i'm sorry i'll say that i'll say it me lactose intolerant, also me eating ice cream. Oh, you got a job, Trashly? Nice. Congratulations. Okay, so how did America being obsessed with milk start? It started in World War One. Basically, the US government started selling canned and powdered milk to soldiers overseas because if you're really hungry, powdered milk is bomb as fuck because it stays like fresh for a really long time. You can make it anywhere. It has a lot of calories. It has a lot of fat in it. So it's something that's common to give as food aid because it's so like hearty and so cheap and so effective. And like you can easily send it into war zones and stuff like that. Um, so that's why they use powdered milk for that. Is my Wisconsin heart going to be sad? Probably not. I think it'll be fine. Um, and farmers basically were like, all right, let me dedicate all of my resources to creating this powdered milk. So before World War I, people drank milk, but they weren't obsessed with it. Milk was something you drank during the winter because like if you, oh, sorry. Oh my God. This girl is like wildly texting me. This is insane. Um, so if you drank, let me focus. See, she fucking distracted me. So if you lived on a farm, it's winter time. You can't grow like your fucking vegetables and shit like that. And you can't grow stuff that has a lot of like calcium and nutrients. You're going to drink extra milk during the winter to like stay healthy. So people weren't drinking milk like 365 before this. Like milk was something that like, little kids drank and like people would drink it if they were hungry it was used for food aid like it had a purpose and people did drink it but it's not like it was like a beverage of choice at any point in time um also i thought this picture super interesting milk powder and gunpowder of equal value winning the war wild so basically during world war one farmers switched to the milk from their vegetables. So we had all these farms that were growing food like on American soil, whatever. And then they were like, let's get some fucking cows. Let's do this fucking milk thing. Like we got this. <coughs> <coughs> Did you ever choke on your spit? That was fun. Like we got this, we're gonna enter our milk era because the US government was like, it's time to enter your fucking milk era. You know what I mean? Um, so this is also where we sent milk to other countries during the war, like I said, for food aid. 
we want your help free milk for france so a free milk for france parade imagine being in a parade about milk like imagine you're literally in a parade and the topic is fucking milk well actually <gasps> i just realized the town that i used to live not in it was like i lived in a town that was next to this town had a dairy festival every year so like actually i don't have to imagine it because i've seen it and it is as weird as you're imagining but anyway um they have basically like this fucking committee to send milk to france milk being buttered milk because it's really fucking expensive to send liquid milk of like refrigerating it and all that shit so powdered milk all the way do i know how they make powdered milk no idea couldn't tell you if there was a gun to my head truly do not know any part of that process i don't know also side note i was gonna make a slide about this but then i forgot um I was raised as like an anti-milk girly. My mom bought almond milk. We were not allowed to drink milk. We were allowed to have juice or we were allowed to have water. I really, really never drink water. I only drink juice. Um, I didn't start drinking water till adulthood, <laughs> but she was anti-milk. We were allowed to have it. Like I would put milk in my cereal and like we had dairy products and cheese and stuff like that but she was like you're not just gonna sit down and drink a glass of milk that's weird um and her reasoning for that is because her mother who was ahead of her time was anti-milk because she was a scientist and she was like listen nature knows best she was she was like a woman of science and had a master's in biology but was very like nature knows best nature's the way kind of vibe and she said like nature created milk for a purpose that purpose is to turn a tiny baby cow into a giant cow. Cannot be wise for humans to be consuming that like on an extremely regular basis. So she was did not have milk in her home. And that was like during really a milk era. Like that was even more of a milk era than today. It was like the 70s. But yeah. Wait, is the U.S. government's dedication to milk explaining why conservatives take milk alternatives as a personal offense because conservatives treat almond and oat milk like terrorism sometimes? So this is my thing around that. I think our government's obsession with milk has made milk be part of, like, the American brand, if that makes sense. It's like milk, guns, picnics, barbecues flags freedom like it like i think it's all in the same category so i think that's why when you're like let's do these alternative milks and a lot of them like are from other countries and shit i think that's where it comes from so i think it's it's not a direct link like it's not like the conservatives are like you can't attack milk you can't attack milk you a milk milk is our government's bread and butter like we need to support like i don't think they're doing it from like a policy perspective. I don't think they're thinking like, oh, the milk laws that we're going to talk about. I think they're just like, why are you trying to change everything? You know, milk, hot dogs at the 4th of July and potato salad, the true American diet. You forgot about casserole. I could simply never partake in a glass of milk. I don't think I've ever drank a glass of milk. I'm trying to think of it. I literally cannot remember a time. I'm scared of unpasteurized dairy products. All right, so here's a new article. Mm. Those bananas kind of melted; they were squishy. Did not fuck with that. All right, so a ton of dry milk are going over for wounded men and hungry babies. How many pounds are you setting? Can you imagine what Twitter would look like today? If the federal government asked us to send powdered milk to another country, imagine, pretend, I want everyone to pretend we're on Twitter right now, and I want you to tweet in the chat, like I'm the federal government, and I just put this out. Like I just said, hey guys, send some milk. Send some fucking milk to France, they need it. That's the plan. How much powdered milk are you sending? He needs some milk. No bestie. My fidget toy exploded over here. And it was like, you know the green one where I squish it and it's like that little ball? It exploded yesterday while we were filming the podcast. So in an upcoming podcast episode, I'm literally like, it exploded. 
Um, but all the little Orbeez that I missed, like, shrank and got, like, super hard. It was very weird. <clears throat> Girl, you done lost your damn mind. <laughs> what about the babies here? Send us some student loans before government stimulus milk. Okay, so, moving on. I hate the French, so I, I would, I cannot take that off. You said I hate the French, so I would send a bomb in the powdered milk. Also, the reason that that got, like moderated out was because you said I hate the French not the bomb but the hatred of the French um what I want to know is during this time the dairy farmers that had been dairy farmers like dairy farmers who had been dairy farmers for like 20 years and then World War One happens and suddenly everyone obsessed with milk I want to hear from them this is too bright sorry I want to hear from them because I know that they have a fucking story to tell you know what I mean? Like, I want to hear about how much your sales fucking skyrocketed off of this milk. Twitch is trying to silence me and I will not be silenced. So think about that. If you're a dairy farmer and then the government just becomes obsessed with milk, I feel like, oh my god. That's like the people that invested in Microsoft, like, just to be nice. That's the same shit. Same with Amazon and Coca-Cola. I grew up outside of Atlanta, so everyone, like, has a hard-on for Coca-Cola outside of Atlanta, in, in Atlanta. And in school, my teacher told me about, so it could be fake, who knows. She told me about this friend that she had who, like, the friend's mom had been a secretary and, like, worked for the Coca-Cola guy. So she, like, like, bought a little bit of stock to, like, show support or whatever. And then, like, all of her grandkids, like, lived off that money. It, like, became so fucking much money. I don't know if that's true, though probably an urban legend they probably like screwed her over somehow knowing capitalism a distant family member runs a dairy ranch i should get to know her and interview her on this topic yeah you absolutely should we should have invited her to the podcast but once world war one is over what are we gonna do because now we just have a shit ton of milk many farmers had gotten rid of all their crops to focus exclusively on dairy which like this feels very short-sighted if our government is good at one thing it's only thinking 30 minutes in advance because this okay we're getting distracted again but basically this fucking pisses me off because every time we have an elected official they don't give a fuck about the long-term consequences of their actions because by the time these consequences come around for them they're already out of office and on to their next thing and it's someone else's problem and we wonder why climate change never gets worked on because it's not solvable in one administration so no one's gonna do anything because no one's gonna be able to take the w for it so until someone who like doesn't give a fuck about that and just is like let me fix this bullshit is in the white house and like congress and like the fucking every bullshit ever and like the un like it literally everything we just gonna be out here if history doesn't repeat itself i met a family who invested in Starbucks in the early days, they were heading to Hawaii. Oh my god. Sounds like the government functions exactly like my school admin. That might be the comment of the night. Let me... That was iconic. So if you're new here, I pick like one, sometimes two comments, and then I put them in the thumbnail. So, or chats, or whatever the fuck you call them. Um, he was in the White House and he was Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Yeah, for real. So basically, now we just have way too much fucking milk. We have a huge surplus of milk. So the US government had to buy back the unwanted milk and then push it to the public because basically the US government was like, fuck, now we have all this fucking milk. And like, we fucked these people over. So now we have to do something or else they're all going to lose their businesses and then we're all going to be fucked. So the this is what's crazy to me. 1937, the agri Cultural Marketing Agreement Act of 1937. And also, if you think about it, this is during the Great Depression. And during the Great Depression, they created a lot of things to try and help people. So like small dairy farmers would be benefiting from stuff like this. So like, I know you might be like, that's really random as fuck. Why were they doing that in the Great Depression? They passed so much shit. They passed shit for veterans, for schools, for land, for electricity, for water, for dams. Like they were doing everything. So it doesn't surprise me at all because they did a lot of stuff to help farmers, especially because of Dust Bowl. So like farmers were getting fucked really hard during this time. Not literally. Well, I'm sure some of them were. But anyway, um, it's not surprising to me that this got passed because that's kind of they were they were on this wavelength at this time. <clears throat> so 
that law is still in place, but it's been modified several times and it helps establish orderly marketing conditions benefit dairy farmers and dairy product consumers. What I'm wondering is how does marketing benefit a consumer? Like, I guess you could say it educates them in a way, but it doesn't really because it's marketing. Like marketing can be educational, but the purpose of marketing is not to educate. Does that make sense? They're two different things. Like they a lot of times overlap, but they're not the same thing. They were like, let's pass a ton of policy and hope it sticks during the Great Depression. Yeah, pretty much. Our government needs to try this again. Um, and the pro program was administered by the USDA. So it's also crazy that the USDA has marketing like the USDA. What does that stand for? US? I don't fucking remember. What does that acronym stand for? USDA, United States Department of Agriculture. Yeah, so the United States Department of Agriculture is like making the rules. I should just ask y'all, look at all of y'all telling me as soon as I Googled it. So the United States Department of Agriculture, it's wild to me that the department that regulates this industry is an in charge of making like dietary rules is also in charge of the marketing of it. Like that seems like, like a very direct conflict of interest. Why did I think it was the drug administration? That's what my brain wanted to say too. So. At this point, farmers and milk processors had invested too much time and energy to shift away from the large scale year round milk production. So instead of making less milk, they convinced people to drink more and milk education in public schools encouraged students to drink four glasses a day. Four glasses of milk a day? Y'all want these kids shitting themselves for what reason? And like, what do you mean had shifted and invested too much energy? Like you, okay, you invested too much money back in 1920, so now we just have this forever? Like, I feel like if they had just admitted the L, like, you can take an L. We will forgive you. Like, you can take an L. Like, if I would honestly, I would respect any president that was like, hey, that was, that was kind of fucking weird. Like, that, I don't know. We were really really into milk like I it was weird we're gonna like scale it back because we're making way too much some people are gonna lose their jobs I'm really sorry about that but I'm not just gonna continue to make too much of something so we'll get these people different farming jobs and it'll be fine like I would respect a president I'd be like great thank you for recognizing something's a fucking problem you know what I mean me forcing everyone to drink milk because I made a mistake and can't own up to it. No, that was the plan. That was the plan. It was like, maybe if we just force everyone to drink milk, but these fucking weirdos, demand is low. Just make them drink four glasses a day. I also saw how someone mentioned the hamburger with milk. Please, we cannot discuss this. Like, that is literally disgusting. I cannot. Uh, but it's just why to me that you would tell a literal child to drink four glasses of milk a day? Can they even drink four glasses of water a day? Like, what is their stomach capacity for drinks? Cheese slice with whole milk. PTSD. I don't care if you're lactose intolerant, you're going to drink the damn milk. The government, we're in too deep. And it had only been, like, 15 years. Like... Oh, like it had only been 15 years. That's not that long when you think about like human history, like 15 years, we can change something if it was only for 15 years. Like we remember what life was like 15 years ago. Like we'll be fucking fine. We can readjust. That's so many cows though, right? Uncle Sam give up the ghost and dump the milk in the ocean. The want milk are on the lunch line. What? I only stopped drinking milk when I graduated high school. I'm really disappointed in you for that, but I'm glad that you realized eventually better late than never. Um, so examples of milk programs, basically part of the reason that this shit happened is because throughout the 1930s, dairy farmers staged several strikes and unionized to demand a fair price for the milk. So to appease the farmers, the government started creating these programs. So like one was that law that passed about the marketing and then the other flip side of that, not flip side, but other related part of that is that these laws about like milk programs or not these laws, but these milk programs were created due to these strikes, which like one, I also think we need 
need to study like the milk union because like this is the most effective union I've ever fucking seen. Like say one thing about these people, they're going to get paid. They're going to protect their interests. They're absolutely going to protect their interests. Like the milk fucking union. I need to know how y'all run things. We could have, we could learn from y'all. Milk programs is sending me. Why is it sending you? It's, that's what it is. It's the milk programs. I got beef with milk, but I love unions. Exactly. It's like my union love and my milk hate are like battling right now. They could save us. Oops, overproduced milk, just the girly things. All right, so to do, do where was I the first of these programs was in 1940 the federal milk program for schools where federally subsidized milk basically federally subsidized means the federal government pays for part of it so it's like mad cheap or even free because the federal government's footing the bill so the federally subsidized milk that advertised the works progress administration the works progress administration it was basically like during the Great Depression, they made it and you could like go get a job and they would like put you to work on like civil projects, like roads and bridges and stuff like that. And it was mainly for like young men and they would like feed you and give you money and all that shit. So the works progress, think of it as kind of like AmeriCorps, but like better and less exploitative. So the works progress administration, they would advertise that in schools, which like slay advertising the trades in schools um, on the federally subsidized milk, which like honestly... This is genius. Like, again, like, we should not be producing this much milk, but we have so much to learn from these people. Like, their marketing, their coordination between departments, their union, like, that. wow. America's finest, truly. Roosevelt time, right? Yes. Government cheese. We're gonna get to government cheese, don't you worry. Funding school supplies? Absolutely not. Funding milk? Essential. Fuck school bans. Drink <laughs> drink milk so in 1946 now we're no longer in fdr times we're in truman times um in 1946 president truman passed the national school lunch act which mandated each lunch include one and a half to two pints of whole milk that's a lot that's a lot of milk to give a child at lunch like, you know these kids had to be thrown up in class. I want to talk to teachers about this. I want to go back in time and find a teacher and be like, tell me about your life before this law and after this law. I want to hear about it. Because you know some second grade teacher is like, if one more fucking kid shits their pants in my classroom, I'm going to have a connection fit. Like, why are we giving them this much milk? Someone had to have known. Bared with beans. <laughs> Breath had to have been crazy. Imagine being on a playground after downing two pints of milk. What the fuck? Man, one of my contacts, I think, has a chunk of... I was eating before I put them in, which, like, why do I have a brain that works this way? I was eating these Old Bay goldfish, which, like, I wish they were regular goldfish. I like these, but I'm just not in the mood for them. Um... This milk is going great with my war PTSD. Okay, but in essence, since adults weren't buying milk, the government's solution was to force it onto children. And to this day, students who participate in the school lunch program are required to um, take a carton of dairy milk. So even, sorry, the six is like a source. Sorry. But even today, kids are required to take milk if they get the free lunches. And kids throw away that fucking milk. Some of my students would drink the chocolate milk. They were kind of into that one. But none of them were sitting there drinking milk. To the point that if they were drinking milk, everyone would be like, why are you drinking milk right now? Most of them had water bottles to school. Like metal ones or like plastic ones. Or they would get water bottles out of the vending machine. Or they just wouldn't drink anything with their lunch. I was a victim of forced milk and I had to pay for lunch too. Yeah, same. I always had to pay for, like, I always paid for the lunch and I always had to get milk. My school started giving us water in middle school. Good for them. Oh, I liked the strawberry one too, but more for the aesthetic, not for the, the taste. When I taught early Head Start, we got to give them water though. We, when we went outside, we would take a jug of water and give them water in little Dixie cups and they love it. Little kids love 
of water, like one-year-olds, because they haven't really had it before, so they're like enthralled by it, and they would literally like scream at me. I would, they would see me with the water jug, and all of them would be like, ah, ah, and they would like get too riled up, because they were too excited for the water, and I was like, y'all are so simple, for real. Like, <laughs> like, I was like, all y'all are like feral over this water right now. Some schools have a spot where you can put milk you don't want. And I remember in elementary school, I would grab another milk on the way out the door if I was still hungry. Oh my God. Zombie toddlers for water. The mental image of a four-year-old gasping and gulping while drinking a glass of water. Playground brawl of water. They were one and a half. They couldn't even talk. That's why they would just like grunt at me when they wanted their water. They would go, where, where? And I was like, stop grunting. It sounds weird. I'm a preschool teacher and they do get hyped for water. Thank you. It's a real thing. They get so fucking excited. It's so funny. Okay, but moving on from milk programs, even with all that bullshit, they still had a milk surplus. Here's an article that literally fucking says, the problem of milk surplus control is a headache that grows worse. What the fuck do you mean the problem of milk surplus control? Just stop. Like, literally just stop. Like, just hit the brakes, big dog. Like, you, like, what do you mean? If you said, like, surplus of rodents, surplus of flood water, surplus of rain, surplus of dirt, I would be like, yeah, that's a problem. Milk surplus? We should figure out how to run cars on milk? Wait. I think you're the future. Like, I think you are literally the future divest from milk milk goes bad so fast i never finish milk i buy it for cereal and literally never finish it okay so we still have a fucking milk surplus and then world war ii happened we kind of like were using our milk during world war ii because we were giving away food aid to other countries so during world war ii we were also in our milk era um um, but after World War II, we picked up the powdered milk bullshit again. So when the Soviet Union closed, this is a completely different topic, just a side note, but it had to do with milk and I didn't feel like getting into it. Basically, after World War II, Germany was split in half and the Soviets controlled one half and we controlled the other half and we were beefing is what ha was happening. So the Soviets closed all the roads to Berlin so that we couldn't get food into people living in fucking Berlin. And so the U.S. decided to start airdropping powdered milk. So they had airplanes and they were dropping powdered milk um, on the people trying to free them from communism. So that's what I mean when like boomers get so angry at oat milk. Like, like milk is just a part of the American brand. Like milk is absolutely a part of the american brand look at it oh a little clay thing right here so here's milk a new weapon of democracy i also used to show this exact poster to my students and they would always be like they dropped the glasses of milk didn't they break and i was like no it was powdered like you you can't just drop a glass of milk from an airplane and expect a small child to catch it you can that's not realistic and and they were like, oh, then why does it look like that in the picture? And I was like, oh, it's fucking, it's marketing. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Like, <laughs> I wonder how many times milk has been said so far in this lesson. I was thinking earlier, I have said the word milk so many fucking times. It's graphic design, Becky. And Aaron is on drone accidentally dropping a crate of powdered milk. Imagine you're in public with an iPhone and tries to airdrop something to you and it's just the American government with milk. Oh my God. We're basically milk nurse dropping off kilos of powder milk. Milk must have felt like that girl. No, I want to talk to the dairy farmers that started their farm before World War I. You know, they're like, people used to not give a shit about us. Like, people used to not care. People used to be like, dairy, ew, what the fuck? Like, you only drink that in winter when you're dying. But now, like, look at milk now. Four glasses a day, baby. That's the health recommendation from the USDA. It does not get more official than the USDA. Milk tycoon. Lake Mead goes milk. Don't you hate when you get smacked with a glass of milk? I know, it'll really just ruin your day. Um, time's on. More government fucking milk. World War II ends in 1945. We were doing that bullshit for a couple of years. 
The Agricultural Act of 1949 gave the CCC, a government-owned corporation, um, dedicated to... St sorry. The Agricultural Act of 1949 gave the, C C gave the CCC um, a lot of rights around milk. So the purpose of the act was to provide assistance to states in the establishment, maintenance, and operation and expansion of school programs and for other purposes. So basically, this just like created more of a demand for lunch if that makes sense like it's more government involvement in milk um so i found this deep as fuck in the pdf archives from the usda i know i am fully insane for this like a lot of stuff we talk about there's history.com articles on it there's youtube videos on it like watergate so easy to find sources for that lesson this lesson bitch i was in the fucking usda archives about milk but this is my favorite lesson. This is what I love. I want to be in the USDA archives. Like, that's my home. That's where I thrive. You get what I'm saying? I'm insane. I know this. <laughs> okay, so the Dairy Product Price Support Program began as a milk price support program and is legislatively mandated. The Secretary of Agriculture is authorized to carry out this program under the CCC borrowing authority. I don't, like, what does that mean? Our government is literally hinged on the words like authority, reasonable, and like mandate. Like that's our whole government is relying on us kind of agreeing what those words mean. Um, this was established, like we said, 1949, and by the Agriculture Act of 1949 to provide farmers a parity level of in income. The program has been modified over the years, but continues to support prices for dairy farmers. They have never paid for farms directly, but purchase dairy products from processors and vendors to allow farmers to be paid the mandated and support price for their milk. So they don't buy the milk from the farmer, so it's fine. They buy it from a processor. So great. Now there's a third fucking person making money off of our tax dollars. That's awesome. I love when we get an extra person involved in that. And then when we add that extra person in the middle, that's also benefiting greatly Somehow that makes it less corrupt because there's three people. If one plus one is two and two plus two is four, what the fuck is this? Just because you have a vendor in the middle who's also making taxpayer dollars. That is another person making taxpayer dollars. So we, we all pay for the milk we hate. Sounds like the military. Exactly. Exactly. This is why I like this lesson because I just feel like it's emblematic. Also, I'm literally heartbroken that some of the programs of that were a part of the New Deal have turned into this because I love the New Deal. I ride so fucking hard for the New Deal and finding this out was so embarrassing because I was like, damn, that 1937 law, New Deal. Somehow I think we can blame Reagan. Don't worry, he comes up. Sass Master General Jack, thanks for subscribing. Um... We need lactose. We need a lactose phobic president. We need a president with lactose intolerance that is out and proud with their lactose intolerance. They've gone public with their lactose intolerance. You know what I'm saying? FDR was a shitbag, so we're bound to get something bad of the New Deal. Is this related to government cheese? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Also, I love this picture. I digress. So time goes on. Milk, 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 fucking milk. Even with all of the promotion, the U.S. saw huge milk surpluses in the 1940s and 50s, so the government started buying up the extra. So the government is buying all that milk from the fucking vendors and the processors. They're not buying it from the farmers, so it's fucking fine. Jesus Christ 3, thank you for subscribing with Prime. If you just got here and you want to subscribe with Prime, it's free. It's included with your Prime. Please and thank you. Love you so much. Thanks, besties. But anyway... So the government's buying all this fucking milk. What are they doing with the milk? They send some to schools, to the military. They send some as food aid. And also, it sits in underground storage caves. So this is blurry as fuck, so I couldn't make it bigger. But this is powdered milk. These are two men on a little, like, golf cart. So that is a man. Let me make my cursor better. This is a golf cart. That is a man right there. That is a man right there. These are stacks and stacks and stacks of powdered milk. Call me a princess. Thanks for saying. Uh, 
I will be using so many of these. Thank you. I'm glad we like the emotes. I bet the government is behind the idea you should buy milk before a snowstorm. I've had nightmares that look like that. Men in powdered milk. It's <laughs> funny. Dude, what, the state of Florida just sent the civics training teachers $3,000 randomly. They said, shut y'all asses up. Shut y'all asses up. They said, good night. Peace be with you. My contact hurts. I fucking hate contacts. I only like them because I don't like how when I'm on here, the ring light reflects in my glasses. And then if I don't have the ring light, you can't see me. So it's like, just kind of like stuck between a rock and a hard place. Subscribe with Prime like Amazon Prime. I don't know how to do it on your end, but apparently if you log in with Amazon Prime, you get to subscribe to people for free. Like Amazon pays for it, I guess, because Amazon owns Twitch, so they want me to be on here. So they, you know, I think that's their logic. Um, but anyway, lots of our fucking unused milk sits in unused storage caves. So more government money out the window. Yay. So the federal government buying milk no one needs, no one needs this milk. We're buying milk that literally no one asked for and no one needs versus the federal government spending on education and healthcare. Like I hate it here. This is literally a joke. Like I am laughing my ass off, crying, screaming, and throwing up at how funny this is because this is a joke and we are clowns. Welcome to the circus. Like, welcome to the circus. What do you mean we don't have healthcare, but underground, powdered milk storage caves for why and the part that gets me the part that gets me think about since this started in the 40s and 50s how many natural disasters where there have been food shortages katrina other hurricanes i don't fucking know think there were times we could have been using this fucking milk there were times there were times this lesson is that TikTok that's like, like enough slices. Name something more American than dairy caves. For fucking re Um, then we get to the National School Lunch Act again. So I wanted to dive a little deeper into this. This was that lunch act we talked about earlier. Milk producers got a boost from this because it required the lunch to be served with whole milk. This article is from is recent. It was from like a couple of years ago, but this law is the, still the one we use today. So I felt like it was relevant here. When schools serve children milk, they receive money from the federal government reimbursing them for that milk. When school serves orange juice, the same. But water is not a reimbursable beverage, either from the tap or from bottles. So this is from a more recent article because this is the law that we use about the school lunch program. Leave the children's lunches alone, please. The federal government is just a milk cult. I told you, literally have a milk fetish. During the Cuban Missile Crisis, kids were covering their heads in glass and they were all in those underground milk caves. Does anyone remember the milk challenge where kids chugged a gallon of milk for fun? What? Y'all were chugging a gallon of milk for fun? I'm so glad I was a loser with no friends. Jesus Christ. Um... When you ask the USDA if water is a good choice to drink with lunch, like the fact that they don't reimburse for water and like water's like really cheap, especially if it's from the tap, like the milk challenge was disgusting. An apple a day keeps a doctor away. No, four glasses of milk a day keeps the US government happy. That is another top contender for chat of the night. My head is so itchy. Why does this happen to me literally every day? We're in a water crisis and won't subsidize it i remember the milk challenge god not the milk challenge so milk crisis so during the 1970s americans started to sit in super long gas lines and the economy started to tank and then there was an unprecedented shortage of dairy products i think it was not like an actual shortage of the milk but because the economy was tanking and because they didn't have gas i think it was a shortage from distribution does that make sense? Like, you know how a lot of price increases now have been because of the supply chain issues? I think this is kind of that, where they're, like, they have the fucking milk. It's just a matter of the gas to get everything from point A to point B. I think that was the problem. It's not that there was actually a milk shortage. There was a shortage of milk in the stores, not in the country. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, so in 1973, dairy prices shot up as much as 30% as well as other foods. So the government tried to intervene, but then prices fell so low that the dairy industry like freaked the fuck out. Again, the dairy industry, they're fucking organizing. I would love to be like in their meetings. I would love to see how they run a meeting. You know what I'm saying? If you drank your four glasses of milk a day, you wouldn't need your government health care. My school got those sports jugs where you could just grab a cup and fill it up when we wanted. How is that not cheap? Wait, what do you mean? I was going to say, y'all have plenty of milk. Yeah, they really do have plenty of milk. But, where was I? Then in 1977, President Jimmy Carter set up a new subsidy that poured $2 billion into the dairy industry in just four years. So basically because the dairy industry was like, we fucking hate you because you are trying to regulate this to make dairy cheaper. Then Jimmy Carter was like, I'll help farmers. I'm a farmer. Let me be president. And then he was president. And then he was like, here, farmers, I want to help you is what he was doing. Not to be a bitch, but can the dairy industry just collapse, Jimmy Illy? But I cannot support that. I get it, like, but if you think about it, I think it was just, like, farmer-to-farmer -farmer solidarity, which, like, I can respect that. You know what I mean? Like those water jugs they use for sports and get your own water. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm kind of living for that. I want the rail workers to bring the U.S. to its knees, to be honest. It would be rough. It would be really bad, but I think long term, like the consequences of that could be very productive. I almost just knocked literally everything over. That would have been so bad. Imagine being the heir of a dairy farmer. No, for real. So suddenly dairy farmers who had been hurting are now flush with cash and producing as much milk as they can to take Take advantage of the government support. History repeating itself. Yay, more milk. We're making even more milk. Awesome. I love this for us. This is exactly what we need. Um, and then the government purchased the milk dairy farmers couldn't sell and began to process it into cheese, butter, and dehydrated milk powder. As dairy farmers produced more and more, stockpiles ballooned, and anthropologist Bradley Ann Jones note that eventually the stockpile hit over 500 million pounds and was stored in hundreds of warehouses across 35 states. So here's some examples of this surplus. This is the, the cheese. This is the government cheese that they made. Here's the surplus warehouses. Like rich people losing money is karma. Please bring it on. They'll never lose money. They always have a plan B. Remember that. They always have a plan B. For every rich person's money, there's another richer person, richer person's insurance policy behind it. Exactly. We have to nom 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 nom. You know what I'm saying? Um, here's more government cheese warehouses. Like, imagine working here. Like, imagine you're at a bar and you meet a dude. And you're like, so what do you do for a living? And he's like, work at a, a government cheese surplus warehouse. So the government delivers the cheese. We unload the truck. We put the cheese on various shelves. We tag it. We date it. We log it. And then we have we have it there and oversee it. And that truck comes every day. Every day. Sometimes it's provolone, sometimes it's cheddar, sometimes it's powdered milk, sometimes it's cheese. Um, could be anything on that truck. Same thing. We grab it, we unload it, put it on a shelf, date it, log it. Sounds kind of hot. I love a blue collar man. Same. Um, I I love a man that like works themselves. You know what I mean? Like my neighbor has kids and that man stays at fucking work. Like I see him coming home late as fuck, looking tired as fuck. And when I leave, cause I wake up super fucking early. So when I'm outside at like 630 in the morning, I see him leaving for work. And I'm like, as you should have a great day, sir. You know what I mean? Your bonus this year, a sack of powdered milk. God. So, Jimmy's Milk, Reagan's Cheese. Jimmy invested into the milk industry, but now Reagan is president, and now we have all this fucking cheese. So, a USDA official told the Washington Post probably the cheapest and most practical thing to do would be to dump it in the ocean. This is hilarious. This is so funny to me. The fact that if an official was like, dump it in the fucking ocean. This is stupid. <laughs> I love when people hate their jobs. 
someone hates their job, it, like, truly fuels me. Like, I love seeing someone who's like, fuck this shit. Like, it's so funny. Even if I'm a customer. Like, if, a, if I'm a customer and the waitress is like, the kitchen's taking forever and I don't know what to do they're just idiots, I'm like, thank you. I'm sorry you're dealing with that. Reagan's not a stranger of dumping things into places. The most practical thing to do. Exactly. It's just so funny. Um, there was also confusion about how long you could store it like people were like it can you store it for a long time is it gonna go bad like how does that work they didn't really have like expiration date i guess and as officials scrambled behind the scenes for <laughs> how to deal with the cheese the conundrum became public when agriculture secretary john block showed at a white house event with a five pound block of greening moldy cheese and said we've got 60 million of these that the government Oh, it's moldy, it's deteriorating, and we can't find a market for it. We can't sell it, and we're going to try and give some of it away. This is a fever dream. This cannot be real. This is so embarrassing. It really is. Like, this is not real. It's not real that someone said this. That's fucking crazy to me. Moldy, deteriorating, and no market for it sounds like Reagan. This is me when I offer order food for a coffee. This guy's name is really Block. You can't make this stuff up. I bet eBay blew the fuck up the day someone blocked the moldy cheese. The moldy and deteriorating. That's my drag name. I know Italy has standards, but like even they didn't want it for all their pasta. Absolutely not. Do you think a self-respecting Italian is going to eat American orange government cheese? Absolutely not. They'd be like, I'll take like Parmesan. Parmesan Reggiano. Like they'd say it all fucking Italian shit. An Italian, if you gave them government cheese from us, they would kill you. They'd call the police on you and murder you. This is why they don't declassify things. People would realize how fucking stupid people in the government are. Orange Velveeta. Is this where we got blue cheese? You've gobbled your last ghoul. Okay, so, as public got wind of the... As the public got wind of the existence of the surplus cheese imagine walking into a meeting and being like we're here to discuss the public fallout from the reveal of the surplus of cheese that was confidential information and this is a pr nightmare the public fallout of this cheese existence this is horrifying also k pineapple thanks for subscribing with prime uh, we live we laugh we love CIA enhanced interrogation for Italians, just making them eat government brand craft singles, grilled cheese party. I want a new government. We all do, sweetie. Um, so Ronald Reagan started to get criticized for this. He had been elected by like the whole stereotype of like and the welfare queens, like we're going to stop spending so much money on bullshit. We're going to reduce all these federal food programs. So then hungry Americans are still suffering in silence in the recession. They're like, you motherfucker, you have all of this cheese. You get what I'm saying? So like the recession is bad. He's made all this cuts. And then it comes out that it's like, you just have this fucking cheese. Like you just have hella, hella cheese. Like you just have hella cheese. Also, I'm loving the use of the Reagan emote. We love. Let me use it. My screen is like tiny. There he is. So these are one of my emotes again. Um, if you want to use the emotes, you have to be a subscriber. I'm sorry. I don't have enough followers to do follower emotes, but once I have enough, then I can make emotes that anybody can use for free, but it doesn't let me right now. What is Biden's plan for the milk caves? He doesn't have one. Reagan to people on Snap. You can have moldy deteriorating government brand craft singles as a treat. He's like, as long as you do that and you pledge allegiance to the flag in school, I'll give you a moldy craft single. You're welcome. Like that was the plan. That was the full plan. So Reagan's government cheese. Please look at this photo. Why does why is he so proud? My dog loves the government cheese. What if we just chucked a few sticks of dynamite into the cheese caves? And need a walking tour of the milk cave. The TikToks of people throwing craft singles onto babies. Oh my god, I love those. Okay, so December 1981, Reagan relented. He said, at a time when American families are under increasing financial pressure their government cannot sit by and watch millions of food pound turn to waste as a result he'd free 30 
million pounds of cheese from the country's stockpile. He enacted the Temporary Emergency Food Assistance Program, which began handing out the blocks of processed cheese to the elderly, low-income people people and organizations that served them now known as government cheese the pungent smelling and often moldy cheese was distributed to the tune of 300 million pounds so originally 30 million now 300 million question mark not sure how that happened the cheese became associated with hard times so it's like damn you got that government cheese that sucks you're really down bad because it's like that's not anyone's first choice you know what i mean um, and also, if you thought we were going to have a lesson where we didn't discuss Reagan, you're crazy. Oh my god, the cheese. There's a cheese one. That's fun. Free the cheese. Be free, my cheese. <laughs> it's like, be free, cheese. Go off into the night. Um, so here's some more pics of government cheese. These are from the more Reagan era. Can you imagine if Twitter... The Twitter if the government started handing out cheese from the milk cans. <laughs> Reagan created a new American caste system and it was just cheese. <laughs> oh my god. Me trying to listen to this stream while filling out in a job application. Oh my god, that sounds like a lot. I just subscribed. I've been a TikTok follower for a while. Thank you for subscribing. I'll starve. Gay farms. So here's government cheese. I'm wondering what's in the barrels. Is it like if you have less than four kids? you get a box. If you have more than four kids, you get a barrel. Like, is that how it works? It's just like, they dole it up that way. Some more government cheese. Battle Davy, thanks for the follow. Oh, you're driving and listening? Focus on the road, but I'm glad you're listening. I'll describe the pictures to you. Um, speaking of describing things to people, have y'all seen the show C? I have not finished it yet, so don't spoil it for me. I just started season two. But it's really good. It's Apple TV. But my boyfriend has this illegal app. I don't know what it is. But we can watch anything. Um, so he gets it on there. Anyway, back to the government cheese. So this is a warehouse. There's a bunch of boxes. And then there's large barrels of cheese. And then the second picture, it's just like a hallway. And it's a shelf with like cheese wheels. Is this how Chipotle gets its queso? I don't like Chipotle's queso. It's not good. I like Chipotle. I just don't like their queso. President does milk cheese cake taste challenge. Fidel Castro and the U.S. government can finally agree on something. I really don't know much about Fidel Castro, so I have no opinion. Um, this is the label. Like, this is the most government-looking label I've ever seen. Chipotle corn salsa? That is really fucking good. This is the walking tour. Do you think Reagan ate the government cheese? Absolutely not. Government did not eat that girls night but it's government milk and cheese tasting um look at this donated by the u.s department of agriculture for food help programs not to be sold or exchanged here's some other labels and then here it is in all of its glory that is the government cheese that's what it looks like if you have ever eaten government cheese pop off in the comments because or in the chat because i have never had government cheese i've never even seen this so i'm wondering what people's experiences with this cheese is it good is it not good yeah it looks kind of like a lower quality velveta to me imagine making charcuterie boards with government cheese it looks like the ration they give to soldiers i think it also is it's like here's your gun here's your government cheese have a great time in the middle east um i really i want to see what this cave is like like I want to go there. I don't want to eat the government cheese. I want to try it. I'm gonna try it, but I don't eat it. You know what I mean? Like it's not. It's I'm gonna try it. Um, but I want to go to the government cheese warehouse. I want to see it. Black market government cheese. I'm gonna be five dollars. Ten if it's unopened. Um. TikTok sound. I want. I want to be there. It's I want to go to there, and it's from Thirty Rock. What do you think is more secure? Area 51 or the cheese caves? Field trip to the cheese cave. Government cheese looks like those plastic cheese and breadstick packs. Yeah, for fucking real. Oh, I have a pimple and it hurts so bad. So Reagan said no more free cheese after they gave it away. The Reagan administration in a cut to government spend 
ending, put a stop to the buying program. So he gave away all this cheese and then he was like, we're not buying this bullshit from you anymore. Like we're not buying all this fucking cheese from the dairy industry just because y'all want us to. So naturally the dairy farmers freaked the fuck out and they convinced Congress to change the rules so they could create something called a dairy checkoff. Sorry, I need water. Um, okay, so they convinced Congress so they could create something called a dairy checkoff. Dairy farmers would in dairy farmers would pay into the checkoff with a mandatory fee, and that fee would go to advertising campaigns aimed at making people buy more milk. And the U.S. Department of Agriculture is going to approve those campaigns. So now part of the dairy farmers money goes to the USDA and then the USDA helps create these marketing campaigns and like puts themselves behind it as well. Harley's Galaxy, thanks for subscribing. Reagan not wanting to support the cheese industry he helped build. He wasn't really a part of the building though and y'all know me, I'm normally the one to shit talk Reagan, but he just inherited all the cheese. Like he became president and was like, this is a lot of cheese. Um, this program has changed over the last couple decades, but I I found a really good explanation of the way it works. That's from 2007. This, I just spit all over myself. This is again, me being in the USDA archives. So this is the structure of the federal dairy program. The federal milk marketing order, they set price minimums for milk. About two thirds of milk is produced under the federal marketing order in 10 regions of the country. Most of the rest is produced under California's separate system of regulations. So most farmers are a part of this. This is big milk right here. Back in the day, like in the 1920s, it was small farmers making the milk, but at this point it's like large corporations and it's only a couple of them that own all of these small farms, but that's a whole other conversation. Um, the federal system is structured around four classes of milk product, fluid milk, ice cream and yogurt, cheese and butter and dry milk. So that one, two, three, four. I, that's not four. It's just like literally six, but whatever. That's fine. Um, we get the cheese. I hate the phrase fluid milk. Yeah, fluid milk's pretty disgusting. Um, and nationwide prices for the other three, three types of dairy products using a variety of formulas. So processors must pay for milk on the basis of how it will be used, but all farmers in a region receive the same blended price. So it's basically a way for them to make money, like the government sets these price minimums. NFTs, but it's dairy backed. It's crazy to think that I'm 20 years old and I've never lived in a country in a world without big milk. I wish I could experience it. We're really getting deep into the underbelly of big milk. I hate the phrase underbelly of big milk. I really don't like that. So marketing orders essentially limit competition. Entrepreneurs are not allowed to supply milk at less than the government prices. So they can't really like normal healthy competition because everyone's charging the same prices. So if I'm a small farmer, I can't just like charge less and try and get more business. It's like these overly inflated things. So it's hard to win new customers if everyone's charging the same, you know what I'm saying? So the system also limits the ability of milk producers from lower cost regions such as the Midwest from gaining market share in higher cost regions such as the Southeast. I don't really understand this part. I don't fucking know how that works, but apparently it's really bad for competition. And even though capitalism is not my grind, if you're going to do capitalism, there needs to be healthy competition. Like that's the way that it needs to work is like businesses need to be able to get checked if they're doing a bad job and scamming their customers. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's how it's supposed to function. And that's not how it functions here. I would pay so much money to tour the milk caves and do a test. Maybe I'll offer that. If I ever do a meetup, it'll be in the milk caves. The U.S. government to the agricultural in industry when they make too much milk. Like, the U.S. government really just be, just be involved as fuck. They need to break up. The U.S. government and big milk need to break up. What does the, the milk smell like? I never think of this stuff because I don't really have a sense of smell, so it's, like, not something I really think about. But you're right. I bet it does smell terrible in there. I would be able to smell that. I can only smell something if it's really, really strong. I think that's also why I like spicy food so much. That's my theory. Okay. More on the federal dairy programs, the price support programs. So the milk price support programs, 
program keeps market prices artificially high by guaranteeing that the government will purchase any amount of cheese, butter, and non-fat dry milk from processors at a set minimum price. Because our government does buy a lot of milk, like for schools, the military, shit like that. Income support loss. The milk income lost contract was enacted in 2002, provides cash subsidies to milk producers when market prices fall below target levels what is their union doing they have to know something about somebody like what do they know that we don't you know what i'm saying that's crazy to me that's like oh if your market's doing bad we'll just give you money what i thought y'all liked capitalism that's not feeling very capitalism to me Wahlberg uses government cheese. Oh my God. I personally think my laser eyes are activating when I think about the milk that SNAP covers. So the 1996 farm law was supposed to reduce dairy subsidies, but instead dairy subsidies increased as a result of supplementing spend supplemental spending bills in the late 1990s. The supplemental market loss subsidies ultimately morphed into a more per permanent program in 2002. So that's kind of where that happens. The milk union knows who runs the Illuminati. Yeah, for real. Like, they know what's on Epstein's Island. The milk union knows. Um, the USDA says that the purpose of milk marketing is to promote orderly milk marketing relationships. What is a orderly milk marketing relationship? That feels like they went on their computer merged every single document into one document and then picked random words and put put that together plot twist the milk union is operated out of epstein island it regionally limits milk distribution so like region one can't s sell to region three. Oh, that makes sense okay it's probably because they were tied to the meat industry milk union double dipping oh yeah you're right i feel like i need to take college marketing classes to understand this no you don't marketing is just lying and they do it with pictures so they pre need to promote Orderly milk marketing relationships to ensure adequate supplies of milk and dairy products to meet consumers' demand at reasonable prices. Except y'all are doing too good of a job on meeting demand. There's not that much demand for the amount of fucking milk that you're pushing. They the predictive text too far. The dairy union is actually controlling the government. So what the fuck does all of this mean? This means that the USDA, the same federal agency that writes our dietary guidelines, is also in charge of multi-million dollar campaigns around marketing milk. Same fucking people are doing both. I know it's different departments. Like, I know Greg isn't doing both of those things, but you get what I'm saying. The Got Milk ads are an example of these campaigns at work. The fees that the farmers pay, remember the dairy checkoff that the farmers pay and it goes into this, it's just like a giant circle jerk of government money because the farmers are getting paid by the government, but then some of that money goes back to the government to do these marketing campaigns. Very weird. The Chick-fil-A cow is somehow involved. Don't talk about moolahs. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so the fees that farmers are required to pay also fund partnerships with restaurants like Domino's, Taco Bell, and Starbucks to develop dairy heavy menu items like pizza with cheese stuffed crust, 40% more cheese, Starbucks coming out with lattes, frappuccinos, things like that, that are very milk heavy. Have you seen the new Got Milk ads? Domino's pizza boxes have a tribute to dairy farmers. Exactly. The amount of milk in a caramel macchiato is absurd. I used to drink a caramel macchiato every day, and then one time I watched them make it, and I watched them pull out the gallon of milk and pour so much in there, and I was like, oh my god, I've been drinking this literally every day of my life. I was like, this is a glass of milk. I'm starting my day with literally a glass of milk. That's disgusting. I say as I continue to do it. Um... Me realizing that the rise of Starbucks lattes and coffee shop aesthetic and the entire cultural phenomena, think about our cultural phenomena today around coffee and coffee shops. Can be traced back to big milk? I also think part of it is due to caffeine for capitalism and like workers being overworked and having to caffeinate themselves to function. I think it's that too, but double whammy. Is that why there's whipped cream on everything? Yes, it's the big milk. I remember the Got Milk campaign in Head Start. My mom probably still has the picture. Oh my God. The sensation of choking on hot, melty, stringy cheese from Steph Crust makes me want to kill It's all clicking now. 
Got burnout? Have a glass of milk, especially oat milk. Imagine presenting your business plan to a loan officer and having to focus on milk content. Isn't this crazy though? Like, isn't it blowing your mind that this, it's all fucking big milk? It's big milk. And it's wild to me that the government will literally like call up Domino's and be like, put some more fucking cheese on that bitch. Like, add cheese. 40% more. Minimum. Minimum. I want to see 80. Like, that's our government to Domino's. Y'all don't have something else to worry about? Y'all don't have anything else that comes to mind? I would love to find out that this is somehow tied to Lehman Brothers going under. I'm actively trying to decide our big milk's piece. Now it explains why the rest of the world questions our obsession with creamers, Olive Garden style. How is the dairy milk industry reacting to the rise of alt milks? So we're going to get into that as well. Look how long my fucking hair is. I need it cut so bad. Um, posture check, sorry. I understand why Alfredo does not exist in Italy. Exactly. Like Olive Garden death fell victim to this. So, moving on to the Got Milk campaign, and then we'll talk about how the dairy industry is, like, having a fucking conniption fit over alternative milks. So, the Got Milk campaign helped drive demand for dairy products when, at a time when fluid milk consumption was at its lowest point in decades. It was a wellspring of TV and film stars, politicians, it was a Bill Clinton, Bob Dole, Van Halen, The Simpsons, like, literally everyone. And again... What does the milk industry know? What does their union know? What dirt are they holding over people? I have to know. This is insane, as opposed to solid milk consumption. The Starbucks tall used to be the biggest size. At Starbucks? Wow. I like to get a tall, and then I put it in a grande cup. That's usually what I do, because then they give you extra foam on top. And you just mix it in there. Um, I've come around now. I'm blaming my new my new band, Fluid Milk. I wonder which chain of gov which chain is the government's favorite milk user. I definitely ran to go buy mustard flavored ice cream. Okay, no. What? No. Immediately no. What do the cows know? There's something behind those eyes. Oh my God, my ear just started ringing so bad. I hate when this happens. Okay, so dominated the public consciousness. More than seventy commercials on television in California alone, 350 milk mustache ads ran nationally and in print on TV. Obviously, TV and print were still super important then. Today, it's all about social media, whatever the fuck. Um, on any given day, an estimated 80% of all consumers came in contact with the title Got Milk. 80% of consumers getting in contact with your ad campaign every single day, that is fucking unheard of. I don't work in marketing or marketing adjacent. Like I help the marketing department a lot and like do like little tiny bullshit for them. That's crazy. That is literally crazy. Every day, every day. Because our rule that we say is like the rule of seven. If a consumer can see your marketing seven times, that's like the magic number to make them a buyer for you or like a client for you or whatever. So for every day, that's like dozens of times. The got, got Milk ads were relentless. I've been talking a lot today. My throat is really dry. You're a crazy girl. Like crazy. <laughs> For fucking real. I majored in sustainable agriculture, and I'm pretty sure I remember learning that the dairy lobby donates money, big money to Congress. Yes, they do. We're going to talk about that as well. Okay, so where was I? The Got Milk slogan originated in 93 as a rebranding effort for the California Milk Processor Board. The company's ad agency, Goodby, Silverstein and Partners came up with it and the campaign halted the decline of milk sales that had plagued the industry for the last 20 years. Um, in 1994, where was it? 755 million gallons of milk were sold compared to the previous year of 740. To me, that's not that much of an increase. I would love to know how much money was spent on this. I would love to know the marketing compared to revenue cost of this campaign. That's not that much. Like, yeah, obviously 15 million gallons of milk is a fuck ton of milk. But when you're talking about 750 mi like, that's not that crazy to me. Like, that's not that effective. Did it double it? No. Like, that's kind of stupid. Um, 
the two million spent on average blah, 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 blah. the two million spent on average sizing saved the industry and expected of 255 million dollars that's what i'm saying i do not believe that number like 15 million gallons of milk was 255 millions of dollars that's insane that's there's no way there's no way i want to see like the breakdown of numbers like month to month like money spent on campaign additional milk sales for that month you know what i mean like that's i don't believe these numbers 15 mil was the first year of the campaign not the 20 years yeah like I, that's what i'm saying i want to see like the whole 20 years like at month to month all the numbers because this is not telling the whole story it's really just not imagine being the people that came up with the got milk slogan yeah for real um, here are some got milk ads. Here is Whoopi Goldberg. That's who that is, right? I'm terrible at celebrities. I don't know who the fuck anyone is. So I don't know who a lot of these people are. Backstreet Boys? Is this the Backstreet Boys? Or NSYNC? One of those two. And the little fucking descriptions are insane. 15 of adult, 15 percent of adult height is added during the teen years. So we give our growing bones lots of calcium by drinking milk. How do you suppose we reach all those high notes anyway? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Who is this? This is a model. Who is this? Kate Moss? Is that who this is? I don't know. Bones, bones, bones. Maybe so, but unlike 75% of women today, there's one way I'm taking good care of mine by setting, getting lots of calcium. How? From drinking lots of milk. 1% ice cold. And besides that, haven't you heard the waff? look is out i don't know what that says drinking milk equals good singer the math ain't mathing bro doesn't milk make your vocal cords worse probably here's our icon and our legend lindsay lohan i may be on the way up but i still drink milk about 15 percent of height is blah 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 same shit who knows maybe one day you'll see your name in lights if you drink enough milk you can also be exploited as a teen food for thought Wave basically means skinny. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, fucking Mario of Mario and Luigi. Um, this picture is incredibly awkward. I hate the way this picture is posed. Why did they do them like that? Lindsay Lohan plus got milk ads equals my childhood. Here's Beyonce, Billy Ray Cyrus. Who's this guy? I don't remember who this is. Makes your bones rock hard, Steven something. I would love to see a Snooki Got Milk ad. That's, we've been deprived. I need to see that now. Steven Tyler. Um, who is this? I think that's Martha Stewart. Why did they pose her like an awkward Barbie? That's what I'm saying. They did her wrong with that picture. Kate Moss was well known for being extremely skinny like most, most, most of her time. And then we have Kermit the Frog. Milk isn't just for tadpoles, which like, what does that even mean? I'm not a frog. I'm literally just not. Um, our queen is exempt from any wrongdoing as always. So no Britney Spears slander. She doesn't count. It's fine. She did what she had to do. You know what I'm saying? Always exempt from any wrongdoing. Um, also, I felt like I remembered Matthew Morrison doing a Got Milk ad. So I Googled it and then I found this. And this is much, much worse. So Matthew Morrison trigger warning. Sorry, I, that's not a warning. Matthew Morrison, active trigger. Active trigger happening, Matthew Morrison, cursed image. So, not again. <laughs> he just keeps coming up, I'm telling you. It's not even me. Like, it's not me coming up with this. It is cursed. Look at him. Why does he look like this? I literally hate everything about this picture right here. Look at that if I committed solely because of him. Um, did you think it was done? Did you think that was gonna be the last Matthew Morrison milk picture? He's like he has a micro more. I don't know who Matt Morrison is. He's an actor who played Mr. Shoe on Glee and it's just like an incredibly not fun person to look at and we just find him very cringy. I never watched Glee. I like how half of you are like, who the fuck is this? And the other half of you are like, please stop. Please stop torturing us with Matthew Morrison. Ack excuse me. Okay, but moving on from Matthew Morrison. 
<laughs> he is not nearly as bad as Reagan, you guys. But why does the government still give a shit about milk? Like, we get it, the war, all that. In the year of our Lord 2022, why does the government still give a fuck about this? Um, the same reason as everything, capitalism, our government cares because of money. The political forces would not allow dietary restrictions to say anything limiting about red meat or dairy consumption. The fucking cow industry is wild. The dairy industry gives millions to politicians who protect their interest whenever nutritional guidelines come up for review. Grandma during COVID, how much milk is in your state? This is, is this why the keto diet is so big? Maybe. I don't know. He looks like the, half the guys at the farmer's market. God. Um, so I just think it's wild that the advertising industry is partnering with the milk industry to manipulate the American people into loving milk, and it's all done so under the supervision of the U.S. government. Like, it's practically insane. Don't even get me started on the environmental impact of the milk industry. Exactly. That could be a completely other stream. Like, you can see we had a lot to talk about, but, like, the environment aspect of it is crazy too the gift from your nearpod criticism you guys i forgot to tell you so nearpod news one they rejected me from another job still gonna keep applying two they liked my instagram post and commented about my feedback and then they have something where you can submit feedback online and it works that like my company that I work for uses the same system. So I like knew how to write it up in like an effective way, if that makes sense. And so I like wrote it up and then I attached my little screen recording to it and they put it as under review. So it might get added. It's under review because at my work under review means maybe. So I'm assuming it's the same because they use the exact same system. It's canny if you're curious. Um, so dairy lobbying, this isn't 100% accurate because a lot of the money goes through super PACs. A super PAC is basically when a bunch of different industries are like, what if we form a club together and pool all of our money and give it to a politician and then they'll be besties with all of us. So there's a lot of super PACs of like corn and dairy and beef and things like that. So like this is pure dairy lobbying. So it's kind of like the tip of the iceberg and the tip of the iceberg is $3 million a year to politicians. So not great. Um, so, so how much milk does the government buy now? They buy a fuck ton and they dump it. Our government buys a lot of milk and then literally ends up dumping it out. So the USDA has spent $1.3 billion purchasing bottled milk. Um, they buy 238 million pounds of cheese, 64 million pounds of butter, 78 million pounds of yogurt, and all of those numbers are up 800% or more since 2019. When COVID happened, our government started flooding so much money into our economy and like all of these handouts for corporations and all of these handouts for industries. Like when you look at the COVID spending, the amount of COVID spending that was going to the stimulus checks and to unemployment is literally less than a quarter of it. A ton of it went to industries like this where our government is just buying a fuck ton of stuff because basically what our government thought is like, oh, there's a pandemic. No one's going to be buying anything, so we'll buy it to save these industries. But then the opposite happened where people started buying even more stuff. So then we have all these shortages. Like, it's literally just been fucking crazy. 800%. Holy cow. It's very punny. Have they ever considered not doing that? Exactly. Like, y'all are the ones that want to do capitalism. Let the fucking free market do its thing. So American farmers dump millions of gallons of excess milk a year. In 2016, the dairy industry gained 43 million excess gallons in fields, animal feed, or lagoons. Um, but, like, lagoons that kill the environment, basically. There's a lot more to it than that, but it's really fucking bad for the environment. In the short-sightedness of keeping American farms in business, the federal government purchases billions of dollars worth of excess milk, which is stored as cheese. As of 2019, the USDA has a 1.4 billion pounds of surplus cheese. We bagged milk in middle school in Southern California. Yeah, bagged milk is more of a Canadian thing, but I think it does exist here. So it's just wild to me that our government is spending so much fucking money on this. Like, why is our government so obsessed with this? I mean, we know why it's capitalism. We just spent like an hour and a half talking about it. But it's just crazy to me that like, with all the need in the world, the amount of 
homeless people we have, the amount of people with crippling student debt that we have, the amount of people with health issues, the amount of people with debt, the amount of people experiencing housing insecurity, like with everything that we have, that we have a billion pounds of surplus cheese, like that's literally the most useless fucking side project of all time. Imagine if they spent this time and money and energy on vegan substitutes. No, it's literally insane. It's fucking wild. Um, the government, damn, we have to buy all this milk, but kids don't even like it. The sugar industry. Hold my beer. Hold my beer. I have never tried vanilla shake milk. This is interesting. Kind of off topic, but the 10% rule. Plants get 10% of energy from the sun, herbivores get 10% from plants, and carnivores get 10% from eating herbivores. Find it interesting that we're not pushing for more fruits and vegetables in our diet. Not only do they fuel us more, it's more sustainable for the climate. Exactly. We have a surplus of cheese and then a shortage of formula. It fucking exactly. I wonder if we could fix the hunger issue in America with milk money. Maybe. Imagine if they gave me one one billionth money of that right now. I was waiting on when big sugar would enter the picture. Does anyone remember those straws that would make your milk flavored? No. What? Y'all had milk flavoring straws? Which government milk was your fave? So like these are the government milks. Which government milk did y'all enjoy? I put the, if you want to vote, I put it in there. So mine was strawberry, but for the aesthetic, not for the taste. I just liked the fact that it was pink. So I'm curious what your government milk preferences were. If you want to vote in the poll, go for it. Chocolate is taking the cake, which is understandable. Yeah, that's like easily the most popular one. I wish my schools had strawberry and vanilla. Oh, y'all only had regular milk? That sucks. I love those straws. I need, I need to like look into this. I'm very curious about this. Oh, standard milk is bringing it up a notch. All right, right, standard milk. The underdog none of us saw coming. Also, I never have seen vanilla shake milk. Did any of you have that? I don't see anyone voting for it, but did any of you have vanilla shake milk? Like, have you? I've never even fucking heard of that. Does anyone remember that milk contest when we were kids and some cartoons would moo and you win money or a cell phone or whatever? No? What? The little milk cartons with the ice shards in them? That fucking slapped. It was like a milkshake. We only had chocolate on Fridays. Damn. I'm a strawberry milk bitch. My co old coworkers remember me getting sick at daycare because I drank too much of it. Quick trips in Wisconsin have some of the most wild flavors of milk. Oh my god. I want to go to there. Chocolate milk with the Hershey syrup or strawberry with the powder. I hated strawberry because it tasted like a warm milkshake even though it was cold since it wasn't frozen. Look up magic milk straws. I will. I'm going to order them on Amazon. But a side note about health, I'm not going to get into more than this, but the U.S. Department of Agriculture's dietary guidelines recommend three servings of dairy a day, despite the fact that one in four Americans can't digest milk. Um, I can, so that sucks for y'all. And then I was trying to get statistics about the percentage of Americans that are lactose intolerant, because I know it's particularly like more people of color are lactose intolerant than like white people, which like makes sense from an evolutionary perspective when you think about like hundreds of years ago, like what people were around what animals, if that makes sense. But anyway, I digress. This is what I found on childrenshospital.org. I felt like that was like a pretty valid website. It says that 80% of all African Americans and Native Americans are lactose intolerant. Over 90% of Asian Americans are lactose intolerant, and it's least common with Americans with a Northern European heritage, which makes sense. I'm like Scottish and German, so it makes sense that I can handle the milk. You know, my people have been doing it for a long time, but it's really fucking crazy that our government, despite the fact that so many people cannot handle milk in their stomach, our government is still recommending three servings of dairy a day of course the milk industry is racist exactly of course and like this is kind of a combination of lots of different types of racism because it's like one a lack of representation because like if there were people of color making these decisions they would be thinking about that so like that's one and then two is like a lack of medical research for communities of color like for a long time most medical research was only done on like white people and they would like only base rules and like statistics and things like that on white individuals so it's like it's a really layered 
the racism from Big Milk is very layered racism, if that makes sense. I knew milk was racist, exactly. Um, and new evidence also shows that drinking lots of milk does not protect against bone fractures. Like, I have never broken a bone, and I have never been a milk drinker, so that's proof enough. And it can be linked to certain types of cancer, but all the good stuff in milk, like cal calcium, potassium, and protein, can be found in greater amounts in other foods like broccoli, kale, and black beans. So when we're talking about like the milk industry and our government pushing this, it's not for health reasoning because when you look at the actual health information around it, milk is like not the best choice. Me coming from an Italian family and still having milk sensitivity. Well, it says Northern European heritage. Um, Italy is Southern Europe, right? I think uh, maybe that's why. Um, here's some other like fucking graphics and shit about plant-based sources of calcium. Just because we've been talking shit about milk, I wanted to let people know that you can definitely get calcium from other stuff too. Um, spinach is a great one. I think arugula is disgusting. Almonds have a lot of calcium. Tofu, orange juice, beans. There's lots of stuff that has calcium. They donated milk products to communities that couldn't digest milk products. Yeah, that checks out. Um, to do, wait. I was a religious milk drinker and now I have benign bone growth on my knee. Hashtag slay. Oh my God. I can't hear about medical things. That scares me. Okay. So the lobbyists want to act, enact something called the Dairy Pride Act. So I told you we would discuss how big milk is like really a hater to the milk alternative industry. The Dairy Pride Act, which like I'm fucking deceased at the title Dairy Pride Act. The Dairy Pride Act would require the FDA to issue guidance for nationwide enforcement of mislabeled imitation dairy products. So it would give them 90 days and require the FDA to report to Congress after two years of enactment to hold the agency ac accountable for enforcing these guidelines. So Big Dairy has been pressing their friends in Congress to reserve the name milk for fluids ex extracted from animals. Sorry, dairy pride. Oh my God. No, I know. It's literally so funny. So they want it to be where you cannot call something milk unless it came from an animal. Um, and the FDA, which requires food labeling, is poised to grant the industry its wish. So the argument is that this is from the Natural, National Federation of Milk Producers. They says, hold on. To comment that the FDA is that the existence of almond and etc. milk, as opposed to say almond beverage, means that we're being misled about the nutritional content of plant-based imitators relative to real dairy products, thereby causing harm to our nation's children and potentially other consumers. Fluid is too vague. So they want it to be called a milk or an almond beverage. Not almond milk, an almond beverage. That's their whole ploy. Cow blood, milk. Oh yeah, Velveeta is manufactured cheese product. LMFAO, settle down. I know, it's like, just admit your era has ended. Y'all had a fucking century. They're like, I guess the how do you make even milk and almond memes make sense now. <laughs> um, me trying to read Dairy Pride Act without laughing. Like, that's literally hilarious. I'm so glad no one told them. Like, you know, some staffer or some intern was like, I'm gonna let it happen. I'm gonna just let it happen. They want politically correct milk. Yeah, they do want politically correct milk, but I just find this fucking hilarious. Oh my God, the children are drinking plant-based food. It's dangerous, right? Like, I would get it if it's like, oh, people think it's milk and it's actually alcohol. Um, then I would get it, but it's like, just let them call it almond milk. Like, no one's getting hurt. Like, uh, someone drank almond milk. Woo! You know what I mean? Me, if someone brings up me talking shit about the milk industry this entire stream when I order whole milk lattes and put 2% in my nightly cereal, it's giving be who you are. <laughs> the love of Starbucks lattes traces back to World War I. Everything in the U.S. traces back to war. Literally everything. Everything we do, everything about who we are, it all is just war. War, war, war. Our parents' generation, eat your vegetables, no, not like that. Um, me tomorrow in Trader Joe's buying milk, cheese, in high quantities. Oh, my gift messed up. It's like super zoomed in. It was that, it's that scene from Broad City where they're in the bank, like throwing the money and dancing. That sucks. But it didn't work. I worked hard to find that gift too. I don't know why I didn't save right. 
but it's everyone's favorite time of the fucking night. We are going to play the trivia game. I wish there was like a milk one. I guess this looks the closest to a farm. Actually, we're going to do the carnival. We're going to do the carnival because we are clowns. Our government is a clown. We are clowns. We're all clowns. Welcome to the circus. So we're doing the carnival. This is a trivia game. It's 10 multiple choice questions. It's all stuff that we talked about during the stream. Um, I cannot remember what the questions were. Sorry, I made this on Sunday. I just kind of don't remember anything. But you can watch it or you can play. If you want to play, I put the directions in the chat. So you can go to that website and then enter this code V9GYT and then you enter your name. It will come up on here, so don't put your government name if you don't want to. I'll give you a couple more seconds to join, and we will play a little trivia game. So the questions will come up on your screen. You can answer them, and then it'll have a ranking at the end. You don't get anything if you win. There's not even a cow. I'm sorry. I wish there was. I'm going to submit that as my next feedback criticism to Nearpod. Love water. Love a water moment. Alright, there's 20 people in the game. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's Okay, posture check, sorry. All right, oh my God, there's 27 people in the game. Let me send the directions again, just so it's like on there. And I'll give you like one more minute to join and then we're starting it. We've been on here for a long time. We've been on here for an hour and 40 minutes. Look at us, look at us go, look at us go, look at us go. Also, I'm glad, okay, I also have a favor. We'll talk about this during the game. Um, I don't like to talk about Twitch on TikTok because for a while, every time I did it, I was getting community guidelines violations and my account was about to get banned. And a lot of times when I do it, like that video gets zero views, like zero views, zero, like zero comments, not like, oh, it just did bad, like zero, truly zero. And when I've asked people, they go to my page and it's not there. So I never talk about it on there, but people asked about it and I made a video about it. And a lot of people were really surprised to hear that this is free. So I would greatly appreciate it if you come to these and you like them. Actually, let me start the game. There's 31 of you. I'm going to hit start. It'll still let you join late. But if you come to these streams and you like this, feel free to tell other people about it. Drop some comments in my comment section. Feel free to post it on your Instagram story, whatever. Um, I would appreciate it because every time I try and talk about it on TikTok and tell people about it, it just like really fucks with my account. So I try to not do it because whatever. But I want people that want to come to know about it, you know? And I was, when people said they thought it costed money, I was so sad. I was like, oh my God, y'all thought I was charging for this? That's terrible. Which like, if you want to throw me some money and subscribe, that's like, your aura, your energy, love you for that, but you don't have to. And so I just want people to know it's free. So if you come here, thank you for coming here. I think this is the first stream I've been able to watch in full and it was so fun. I'm glad, I'm glad you liked watching it in full. Do most of you, I won't be offended, like you won't be in trouble. Do most of you watch the whole thing or are you like in and out? Have some milk money, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, do you like watch the whole thing or are you in and out? I won't be offended. Cause if I would as a user watch this in and out. Like I probably wouldn't sit down and like the whole time but I don't really watch anything that way. Whole thing, nice. Nice, I like it's the whole thing. Cause I, that's what I mean. Like. I wouldn't want to sit down for that long all the time, but also it's like a lesson. So if I feel like if you were in and out, it'd be, you'd be a little confused. Came late because I was building Sims Valid. I watched the whole thing while making and eating dinner. Yeah, like I would have it on like that. What originally caused the government to be involved with the milk industry? I definitely clicked off at one point to see if they gave milk cave tours. This is my first one, but I loved it. I came in late and watched the rest. I'm glad you liked it. I love to call my mom about the government cheese. 
I was missed, I missed the first 15 minutes. Last week was rough, so the only time I didn't sit through the whole stream. Lee Banana, you are the most cool whale, you're always here. Whole thing, I would miss something and get pissed off. Man, why does the chat look like that? It's crazy. Um, I spent the afternoon re-watching ones I'd watched. Oh my god, thanks! Sometimes I cut out when we get to the quiz, but other than that, I listen to the whole thing while I'm eating dinner and doing my evening chores. I just stop doing chores. Like, I just go on here, and like, my apartment's a mess, I never have any clean clothes, and it's just fine. And I never have groceries. I'm just on here instead. And it just somehow works out. I really don't know how it just keeps working out, but it does. Do you have the same number correct or have more? How do people have the same number or correct or have more or less points? Because the faster you answer, the more points it give you, gives you. It's judging you on accuracy and time. I also heard the term government cheese so much in my life that I never knew what it meant and I was so excited to finally learn. I'm glad I was able to catch a stream. I love that you do this. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Milk education campaign in public schools encourage students to drink how many glasses a day? I keep breaking my hair clips because I keep like fucking with them and fidgeting with them and I like it's really turning into a problem. Which president poured two billion dollars into the dairy industry? I'm getting tired of this song. I like the sport one. I don't like this song. I like the sports game one. We're almost done though. Appreciate those of you sticking through us through these trying times. My first year out of school, so it's nice to look forward to these every week without the stress of actual school. That's the energy I want to go for. Someone was like, if I can't make it every week, can I still come to your class? Like, how much of a commitment is it? And I was like, you could literally commit nothing. Commit negative nothing. Ronald Reagan was loved by the dairy industry. True or false? I'm so upset I am not doing well. It's a hard one. That is false, remember? They were fucking big mad at him because he stopped buying all their shit. He was like, I'm not buying all this fucking cheese, and then they freaked the fuck out, and that's how we got the Got Milk campaign. The school lunch program reimburses schools for all of the following except, not me misspelling milk, O.J. Simpson. When I was little, I'll, I had a crush on O.J. Simpson. I would see him in magazines, and I was like... Teacher, Taylor's cheating. <laughs> oh my god. How much does the US government spend on milk and milk products? Yeah, two more questions. So I was happy when I learned you basically just teach stuff on Twitch because I missed learn but I could not deal with the stress of school. Don't go to grad school. Just subscribe to me. That's my that's my uh, new slogan. Don't go to grad school. Just come here. Chris Jen is a flight on a was the flight steward on a flight with OJ and Robert Kardashian because they were flying to go see Bruce Jenner run. Chris Jenner? That's a witch. I fully believe. I fully believe. Alrighty. Nice job, Taylor, Haynes, Lemur, Banana, Bree, Beep Boop, Beep Bop, Bye Baby Angel, Gas Station Roller, DD, Emmy, Bailey, Jim Turner, and I will scroll through everybody else. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Nice. Just joined for my first time. I'm so glad you're here. So, do, 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 not a crush on the murder. I didn't know. I didn't know. So we have notes. I'm going to hang out for a little bit. I loved this stream. This is 
This is one of my favorite ones I've done. We were on here for a long ass fucking time, so I'm probably only gonna hang out for a couple of moments. But stop subsidizing milk. We're drawing 25. <laughs> the last three presidents, the US government and citizens. Do I have you guys' permission to use your memes on the thumbnail? Do I have your permission to do that? I wouldn't really have a way to give you credit because I need to save it. So it'd be like, I'd be like stealing from you, but combat commies make milk. Missing. <laughs> My God. Maybe I should stop and watch the streams. No, if you want to go to grad school, go to grad school. How do we submit these? There you go. If you go to that website and enter the code. So let me. There you go. Go to that website, enter that code, and then you can put one on the screen. Baby, are you okay? You haven't touched your pilk. Oh my god. I think this one is gonna be the one. Yeah. I think that one's gonna go on the stream. I think that's what needs to happen. Or on the thumbnail. Do you think Russia came up with white Russians or no? I think that's a thing they use there. Um, not to be a big milk fan, but if y'all ever have a Publix near you, their chocolate milk is so good. My digestive system nearly dies, but it's worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, this was super fun. Next week, we're gonna talk, that picture makes me feel things. <laughs> Next week, we're gonna talk all about, actually, I might find that pic and use different text on it, but thank you for the inspo. Who's that, um, Betty Crocker? Yeah, Betty Crocker, thank you for the inspo. This is how they get the almond milk. So this was super fun. Next week, we're going to talk about corn. Basically, the corn industry is like fucking crazy. And that's why there's sugar and everything and like corn syrup and all of that. So next week, we're going to have kind of a similar vibe, but it'll be about corn. Um, and then the week after that, I want to do something for Hispanic Heritage Month, but I haven't decided what yet. So throwing my ass in a circle for corn. We love corn. It's corn. Okay, night night. My throat hurts really bad because including my work day, today I spent five hours on camera talking. So we love that this is my job in every form and facet. It's just me being on camera talking. Wait, I can't believe we talked about cows the whole time and I never wore my hat. That's terrible. That's literally terrible. Corn is the basis of biotechnology. Elote, I fucking love that. Okay, this was great. Have a good night. Sleep tight. Love you so much. See you back here on Wednesday. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast. Um, once I find a job where I get to work from home, I will stream two days a week again. But right now, I have to commute, so that fucking sucks. But anyway, love you. Night, night. Make good choices. Sleep tight.